I don't know who did this to her, but that, that, this is not good. Do you good. think somebody, you don't know if they hit her in the mouth or if she's just... I, I, I don't know if she stabbed, shot, I don't know, but she, there's blood everywhere. I've never <laughs> seen this much blood. The 911 call, the man who found 53-year-old Eliza Sherman stabbed to death behind the Galleria in downtown Cleveland. Still no suspect, and tonight we've learned that the murder was caught on tape. News Channel 5's Shay Harris joins us live from the scene where the murder took place. Shay, you talked to people who work in that area today. I did, Lee. Mostly women who are concerned for their own safety. Now, as you know, Lee, police do not have a suspect in custody at this point, but we did learn earlier today that the Galleria surveillance cameras captured the attack, and mall officials turned that video over to Cleveland police, and so far they haven't released whether that video captured the attacker's face. So for now, the question remains, was this an isolated attack or was it randomly done? And women working downtown are concerned. It's just scary because you don't know if it was random or if, you know, if it was an attack on her. I mean, it's still sad, but it's not as scary. But if it, there's something random going on, then yes, it raises a lot of concern because we walk over here every day for lunch. It's a monster. It's not someone that should be, they should be incarcerated. They, they don't deserve to be free because they're a monster. So again, that question on everybody's mind, was this random, was it isolated? Um, and again, at this point, police don't have a suspect in custody, um, and they are asking anyone, if you know anything about this stabbing, to contact them. You can stay with News Channel 5 for updates on this story. For now, we're live on your side, Shay Harris, News Channel 5.